Well, boys, like an idiot, I forgot to hit record. But, uh, you didn't miss much. We're, we're in the theater now. And I'm trying to sneak by because on the other side of that wall right there is one of those crystoid nests. I'm trying to find a way to get past it. Raise? Oh, nice. Um, to get past it without actually messing with it at all. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think I'm going to have to... Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, nice. Take the ammo. Take the ammo. Leave the cannoli. Okay. Oh, hell. Okay. So, I found your sticky note. The one under the desk, with your password. Wait, you were under my desk? Look, you need to keep your password safe, alright? I'm watching out for you because I love you. You love me? I love you enough to crawl under your desk. I totally wasn't looking for the pen I dropped. Flatter. Okay. Gathering Echoes got more. Alright, I need a little bit more now to the Recreation Center. Which, since we got this open, I'll just drop down here. That's why they they like shoot out like a blast of energy. Shit. Okay. Where'd he go? That's all it does? It stuns him? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's useful, but I was expecting to at least hurt them. I didn't even do that. Oh, character sheet. Oh no, they were in the middle of their game. Oh, this sucks. Give me that bullet. Let me go voice cabin. Oh, I'm so, like, disappointed. They were, like, basically in the middle of their game when all this shit happened. Those poor bastards. Hang on. Look over here. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm over here nerding out. Um... Fatal Fortress game, Master's Tome, 6th edition. Oh, greetings, Game Master. Fatal Fortress is a world deprived of sunlight. As Game Master, you will guide a troop of stalwart adventurers through glittering caves, calling with ratmen, into battles against horrors that have slept for centuries, and deep into the secret heart of the Fatal Fortress itself. Unlike other games, Fatal Fortress has no, no set character classes. Instead, Oh, okay. Set encourage your players to play their own way by mixing and matching abilities as they are faced with new challenges. This game also features a dramatic magic system where players create their own spells by drawing and combining runes. Oh. Each player will need a character uh, record sheet, a miniature to represent their character on the combat map, full set of polyhedral dice, and a thirst for danger. That That is awesome. Well, I don't see a map, so... Oh, there's the map. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, look, there's dice. There we go, voice cabin. You know, shows... Okay, okay. Remember, blind ogres can help... Uh, can call for help with gangs. Uh, try to distract f uh, Flag Dastris from using White Gem against Necro. Plus one lock bonus to whoever figures out Drip's Riddle. That is amazing. I love this. 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that makes sense that they don't have necessarily like set classes, but you can kind of you can still kind of tell roughly what they probably would be. Um, okay, okay, no. Treasure map for staff fel stab fellow. Treasure hunt investigate stab fellow. Stab fellow's map. Captain stab fellow. I love how his is colored. Uh, dagger, heavy crossbow, long sword. Oh, this is so cool. Elias Black. All right. Uh, Elias has. Stab fellow. Stab fellow has vanished into the darkness <laughs> beyond the tower door. The only sign of him is his blood trail. But as you watch, the flagstones seem to drink in the blood. The cracks glistening red. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Don't be such a baby. We either head through the door... Oh, forget that. It just ate our warrior. Unless you can handle the entire pack of rat men, oh spellless wonder, we don't have much choice. Elias? Sorry. Stabfellow? Captain Stabfellow! Can I answer her? Hell no! You hear nothing. From the darkness, it has swallowed Stabfellow completely. All right, let me light a torch. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Station-wide OS upgrade. Had to hold Bellamy's hand through the whole process. Abby, do you have my character sheet? You made it. Yes, right here. <laughs> Aw. That was awesome. That was like so oddly wholesome. I love it. Oh, uh, restore form back. Oh, I have enough. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Okay. All right. So we need to go to deep storage for that. Um, I, you know what? Actually, I think instead of doing that, I think I'll, I really want to go and find Bellamy's corpse. So let's go back down to the lobby and then hit the psychotronics. Okay. 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 Bastard. Jelly to eels. Sylvain Bellamy's. This is the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. It happened before, shortly after your initial Neuromod tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began implementing secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Oh, great. So... From the beginning, I knew something was going to freaking happen. Awesome, got some more Nero mods. Then These poor bastards, man. Look at all these corpses. That, that one was Bellamy. So yeah, he 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 knew that this was like a possibility. He knew the dangers, but he decided to just go with it anyways. That's such a damn shame. Apparently Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center might still have the keycard in his cabin. After some digging around, I found that Bellamy's corpse is actually located in Psychotronics. Use Bellamy's keycard to access his cabin in crew quarters. Which wasn't that where I was just at? I'm gonna go straight to his freaking cabin. Bellamy. Okay. Course finishes. Objective completed. Wait, what did I do? Oh, that's it? All I had to do was get into his crew quarters? Critical plus. Um, okay, so obviously we got to get on this computer. All right, cool. 
email Morgan Solutions. Um, over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem, even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Remy, for example, in test 9, he exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. In test 10, he simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then in 14, he incinerated them. If not for the safety glass, you'd be dead. What is happening after reset that's leading to this variance? Oh, oops. I, didn't, I accidentally I didn't mean to hit that. Huh. Files. We're new type and research data. Scan complete. New psionic aptitude available. Okay, so because we finished Bellamy stuff, we unlocked a bunch of um, alien research. Like you see the mimic matter two, two, three. We unlocked a bunch of abilities. Um, so we can see ability, a bunch of abilities now. Okay, well that one's done. So, okay, Morgan's psyche valves. Hendrick, I need you to remove all sensitive material regarding the psyche valves immediately. What of special importance are Morgan's log sessions? I need those materials in my office. From this point forward, only speak through an encrypted transcribe. I've sent you the decryption key. Excuse me, you should be able to download it from your workstation, LXU. Subject for quarantine. Hendrick, Trevor Young is one of our scientists. He has expo he was exposed to our inner containment area without proper protection. He's gone through observation in psychotronics and had his most recent neuromods removed as a precaution. We'd like to keep him under more standard quarantine until we can be certain there are no lingering psychological effects. Work with Dr. Cole on this, Alex. Thanks, Alex Yu. Oh, wait. Decryption key. Download device decryption key. Do no harm. Listen to the decrypted transcribe message. Message. Alex, damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, Doctor Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A C B A C. Good luck. A C B A C. Your transcript message. Find your psychological eval. Tell us one lobby. Send to crypto transcript message. Do no harm. Search Dr. Cole's office. Tell us one lobby. Um, have my people been coming to you? Hey, Matt, had another one of my people presented a uh, signed note from you for fatigue. Just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress related complaints or is it my imagination? Sylvain, Trevor Young, Matthias, I don't know. What you, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and it went sideways. He, we couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is a typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this. Get them to empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time. Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. You have my thanks. House Kelstrup. So they knew that he was he had been controlled. Quarantine subject. Anna. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who is suffering from memory loss. All this time only, this time only Dr. Cole and myself should have access. Please set the new code 0466 Hendrick DeVries. Um, files. Session log. Dr. Calvino. Learns of Calvino. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. Symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. Increased irritation in this session has given me a cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing session. lab uh, and um, I'm standing in front of uh, the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, well, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. 
Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No. No, no, no that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. What the hell? What did he show him? Sarah Elzar. Sarah's hostility towards me continue unabated. Uh, this distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight. Might be able to use this in future sessions and hopefully get her to open up more. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting. Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Jesus. Okay, Daniel Show. Danielle exhibits relentless anger towards authority, generally in the use specifically. A few general questions sent her on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on TELUS 1. A waste of time. Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit. And another thing. Huh. I wonder what the rest of it was. Behavior test. Just our quick behavioral assessment for factor analysis for correct drift assessment data should be gathered repeatedly for the same subject over time. Begin new test. New test started. Oh, is that um this thing? Did it restart the test? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Okay. Do no harm. Search Dr. Cole's office. Tell us what Matthias. A C B A C. Oh, wait a minute. A. C. B. A. C. The picture. Please wait. Oh, it's just sitting there. I guess it's, guess it's waiting for me to do this. You seem frustrated. I have months that are just 
gone. I, I've been listening to the logs, reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? Well, I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no, that's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know, I, I, I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this, all right? That Morgan is not me, I would never... Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill! I want this station shut down! I want Earth! Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. What the fuck? What the fuck? So even even Cole was in on it. it seems that even Cole was in on it. That's insane. And I was starting to like catch on to what the hell was going on. I knew what was going on with the Typhon. I didn't want any part of it. Holy crap, that is insane. Alright, quick save. Alright, boys. I think that's where we're going to end for tonight. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.